Hey friends, I just wanted to show you something kind of cool here um, regarding electrical connections. If you're out in the field, I got that idea using this solar panel with the USB charger here that um, regulates down to five volts so I can charge my phone and my battery charger and stuff. But I thought, you know, what if you're out in the field and you don't have a soldering iron to make these connections? Well, I've just wrapped the copper wire around the leads there. After doing some research, you can get into conductive compound or, better yet, I think, conductive copper foil tape. It's got a backing with a sticky adhesive side. It's very thin, so I just got this direct from the Philippines, and I wrapped up my solar charge controller and really um, wrapped up, really sealed those ends very nicely. Let me zoom in there. I did it on each side, but then I wanted to test the actual conductivity of the um, foil itself just to make sure because this the wires are actually attached to those leads. So what I've got going on right here, this is a diaphragm that picks up sound and then triggers the light. Just kind of a cool little toy there. Got it hooked up to a 3.7 volt lithium ion battery and right here the leads you can see coming off there the copper that is about an inch only of the tape there's no wire coming off the battery and actually I tested the battery with my multimeter and I got four volts coming off the ends of the tape at about one inch now one thing I have noticed though guys with this adhesive conductive uh, copper foil tape is the adhesive section when it goes around um, a connection is not as conductive as wrapping the bare side of the copper wire around that connection. Like for example, the outside of this is the bare copper wire. It has a film that you peel back, uh, just a plastic film, but the underside is where the adhesive is. That's the side you peel off that paper. And I'm noticing that that is, I don't know if it's because of the adhesive and I, the adhesive is very, very thin, but no matter what I was doing, um, I was getting a very dubious connection using the adhesive side on those contacts. So what I did here is I've actually wrapped around the foil side of the tape onto those leads and it's working great. I mean, this thing is triggering at, you know, every noise they make. So, yeah, so I'm thinking that this side on this charge controller is just the adhesive side of the tape, but it still is helping with the conductivity and keeping those wires that I have wrapped around the leads intact um, and secure, really. So, I would, I guess my final uh, appraisal of this stuff is that don't really count on it so much for in place of wiring um, because it's just not effective for that. So if you're, if you're in a, in the field situation on the move or just mobile situation, you don't have access to your soldering iron, bring wire to use to make connections and then bring this as well to seal those wire connections. But this stuff is great. I'm really glad I got it. I can see all kinds of applications for it. You know, like say on the back of my um, solar panel here, for example, you know, I've got a diode right there. Um, you can see connected to the positive lead of the um, panel. Well, that's soldered on. You know, what if that busted out? What if I was out in the field and I'm charging my phone, say, and I'm off grid, you know, and I don't have a soldering iron around? Well, very easy to uh, tape that connection. Um, if you have experience with this, just give me a heads up on why um, I was having le or I'm having less um, conductivity with just the adhesive side of this connecting to the leads because I mean I would think that that adhesive is so thin and I'm squeezing the two adhesive sides together you know like pretty 
firmly and still I'm not getting the conductivity as the bare metal, the bare copper side on the leads. Thanks for watching, you guys.